love the things we do for morning coffee. <laughs> it really just is a precaution. I'm about 90% sure that that sign is just because they don't test the water and it's probably okay. It actually got down to the 30s last night, so we're here editing videos, waiting for it to warm up, and drinking insufficient amounts of coffee. Taters is three hours from being able to string a sentence together. It's all good. <laughs> so we've had a little bit of traffic going by this morning. We do have sunshine. It did get cold. It's dropped back down into the 30s. It is a high of 57. By next week, it will be getting up into the 70s, though it looks like there is another storm on the way. It is pretty much always something. We do have sunshine off and on. The wind is cold enough that it is, it is a long gone morning this morning. <laughs> we'll see how that lasts. The advantage of long days and sore feet is we are not, don't have a lot of pressure to get out super early because <laughs> it's going to be hard to walk through dark till dark, even getting out at 9.30 in the morning. And for one more day, I can blame taters for my late start. So we will be passing through White's Ferry today. I got a former coworker who's probably gonna come out and say hi. And then Harper's Ferry will be in another day or two. Jen is departing tomorrow, which I am sad about, but is what it is. And then we have about two months till she'll be back out here. And we will have an eternity together because you know, nine weeks out here feel, feels like an eternity. As our nice trail angels in DC suggested, there was not that much traffic once the sun went down. We are seeing a handful of bike packers. The first campsite had a ton of people. Some of them looked like they were long-term homeless sort of things. Some of them were obviously car campers and there was one or two bike packers. And from here on out, they have campsites every four or five miles. Should continue to have bathrooms and water. I mean, <laughs> it's easy mode. <laughs> Also, uh, the section out of Harper's Ferry that overlaps with the AT, the one thing I remember about it is it had this kind of spongy ground, which after all the roots and rocks and everything, I remember really, really enjoying for that brief little bit. This section is also spoiling us a bit because there's a good number of people that have been following us for a long time or have trail angel for us at various times who want to come out and say hi. So we're getting all sorts of visits and things. Then it feels like I'm going to uh, jump off this thing between Cumberland and uh, Harper's Ferry and things are going to change again. The funny thing I always find about trails like this, anything that is you know significantly long is you get used to whatever you're going through, whether it's you know road walks and doing those fill ups, wilderness sections, etc. And there's always just a little bit of anxiety for what, what it's gonna be like when things change. I remember, for example, my last night in Florida when I was about to start on the Alabama Roadwalk. But one day at a time, and things always work out one way or another. And Taters has already engaged Tater Speed. You're going to talk about how pretty the trail is by showing my posterior. <laughs> okay, you ready? This isn't really working. Sadly, it is my last day on the trail for spring break. <laughs> and then it's another. 67 days until I came out for summer. Uh, but I'm super happy that I get to spend this day on the CNO trail. I've been really enjoying this. Tons of birds, tons of flowers, and I just love being next to you, the big river. You don't miss those like nice busy freeways, all those nice people making those faces, like what the hell are those people doing out there in the rain? You need to embrace this. No, not, uh, not missing the roads too much. My favorite parts of this have been when we've had water on both sides when the canal is full and we're just on a little strip between big river on one side and deep canal on the other side especially if there's rocky cliffs going into it that was my favorite but this whole thing is really nice well, i mean we do have water on both sides it's just the canal is a little brush choked right now and here's that next campsite at least so far the only ones we've seen occupied were the very very first one which was car accessible these are getting a lot of day traffic, but not people with packs and tents. See, while we do have water out here, even after filtering, that's what it looks like. There is no lemonade in there. That's just rust off the pipes. Jen doesn't care though, because I got her this uh, brown bottle. So no matter how bad the water looks, it's all the same. 
And then there's my cure for anything water related, including me just not wanting to drink water, which is, I don't use electrolytes or anything. I just use uh, crystal light packets and it makes it a lot easier to get things down. So the funny thing, that's the overnight campsite here. This little berm, the water was part way up this berm a few days ago based on the uh, debris levels. Just a few more miles to White's Ferry. Hasn't actually rained on us, but we keep going from halfway pleasant sun to cold, cold wind. So far, I'm very glad I kept my long johns on. Okay, made it here. I have a former coworker from my bad old IT days who's gonna come say hello and then we will be pushing on. Oh my God, sunlight then. So remember that water that Jen filtered and went, oh, it's fine, little bit of a taste. It, it's turning more colors over time. Um, she tried to drink some of hers and I basically dumped it out. So that's a guy I worked with for a number of years before Jen um, convinced me to become indigent and quit the IT life and uh, he came out with his daughter and uh, brought us lunch. Unfortunately, as you can see, it is really, really cold. It has not rained, but we are all freezing our butts off. And we are current fro currently frozen, bloody solid, and limping down the trail, trying to get warm. Taters just made a friend. Here, little friend. Want to go to California? That's a river I would paddle. Water on both sides. Endless bluebells as far as you can see. Occasional raccoon. Oh, that raccoon made me so happy. Mondi, I want to paddle the river. So apparently the outflow for this, they actually use for uh, Olympic uh, kayakers. They have rocks they can rearrange somewhere around here. I am not sure what that power plant is dumping into the water, but all of a sudden I am not really wanting to filter out of this uh, canal here. And then Andy went over and was like, yeah, I just quit. It has been a day. So some friends that trail angeled for us way back in 2021 on the AT ECT thing brought us uh, wine, tortellini, a puppy for taters to play with, <laughs> a child to cry quite loudly and convince taters that she doesn't want to have children. Hey, the child was super happy and cute for most of the time. <laughs> for most of the time. Just a reminder that they're not always like that. So we are going to have a fancy dinner for our last night on trail and the most entertaining part of it is Tater gets to try and cook tortellini in our small small pots, which is always fun. And we are going to do a campsite that's not too much further. My feet have been surviving today, but having a closer to 15 mile day will uh, help quite a bit. Hopefully they recover in the next couple of days, because <laughs> so far the trend's not great. Everybody keeps saying that it is going to get warmer. We've at least had some sun today, but it is cold, cold wind off and on. So this is the campsite nearest to that uh, aqueduct. And it looks like it has a very much of a taters flare to it. We're gonna be down by the river. We don't have other people, which makes me happy. We have a bathroom that makes me happy. Maybe there will be bees. I went into a bathroom earlier and there were bees, which made that bathroom time very exciting. Even better, apparently there are train tracks. We started to hear them off in the distance and apparently that gets pretty close to the campsites. Counselor and a few others mentioned it. And we got offered earplugs. 
Oh, sorry, Jen. I'm sorry we can't have like a better camp your first night. Oh, this is perfect. Wow, you're just getting all your wishes today. Are, are you afraid that you're in a coma and this is just your brain giving you dopamine? The final teacher's camp. Oh. Hopefully. Wait and see how much the river raises. In addition to right by the river, at least for me, this is giving me Mississippi vibes because we have a big power plant right off in the distance. By the next home sweet home. Oh. Potentially, I will be able to stand by the next home sweet home, which <laughs> is a positive plus. <laughs> and I do like my positive pluses. Oh. Really happy day. <laughs> filled with beautiful walking, nice people, good food, and ending <laughs> and a really magical camp. Home sweet home for the night. Ooh, why do you jump too much wine in my mouth hole? <laughs> Home sweet home for the night. <laughs>